Hi guys, welcome back to Chubby Place. So today on a deck sharing day, I'm going to share with you a Zygote deck. So Zygote GX came out quite some time ago. Not very playable because, you know, it's just not good enough. So this Zygote GX has 200 HP, first attack, 2 colorless energy cell connector, 50 damage, attach 2 fighting energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Energy acceleration, but otherwise does only 50 damage and is still very lackluster for a GX Pokemon. The second attack, 2 fighting, 2 colorless, lands wrath, does 130 damage. So this is very lackluster compared to other GX Pokemon because 130 damage nowadays non-GX Pokemon can also do that much damage. And it requires you to have 4 energy and it's a fighting type which is very hard to get your energy acceleration on. So it's not really playable at time. But then a new Zygarde supporter came out. So this Zygarde came out in Unified Minds. It's a small Zygarde and it's a non-GX. So the attack, the attack itself is not very important. But the ability cellular companions, right? As long as this opponent is on your bench, your Zygarde and Zygarde GX attack does 20 more damage to your opponent's active. So this Zygarde enables your Zygarde GX to hit hard even though you only have 2 colorless energy for the first attack then after that you can energy acceleration for the bigger attack. So let's say you have full bench of 4 Zygarde right then you can add 80 more damage because it stacks. So your first attack 2 colorless will hit until 130 if we have 4 Zygarde on bench and of course for fighting type we have the NC. Any fighting type Pokemon attack does 20 more damage. So again, your Zygarde GX can even do more damage. And uh, maximum 150, you get your 4 Zygarde and Zygarde C. And the last rush itself also will reach 130 plus 100 maximum. So you can reach 230. So it's a guaranteed 2 hit KO on most of the tag team GX. Also, can hit, uh, can one hit most of the basic basic GX, also one hit all your non-GX Pokemon. So this Zygarde becomes very playable because of the new Zygarde. And the attack itself is actually not that bad. Boost Fang, 20 damage, 1 fighting energy. Attach your fighting energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So at first, I think it's very likely for you to send out your Zygarde and just do Boost Fang and you can attach fighting energy to your Zygarde GX or it to attack next turn. So this card is really what makes the change in the Zygarde GX. And now this Zygarde becomes quite a playable card, I guess. So we'll see how it goes later in the match. Other supporter Pokemon that we have here is Mashido and Macham Tag Team GX. Uh, it's just an extra attacker because it actually does a bit more damage compared to Zygarde GX. So, in case that we need another attacker, since we actually only run to Zygarde GX, so then we have this tag team GX to send out when maybe the opponent have one press cards left. And another Pokemon that we have here will be Emoga. So, Emoga is good because of zero retreat cost, and another thing is a Nuzzly Gathering enables you to find your other Emoga from deck. This is because there's no Nest Ball, there's no Ultra Ball, so you can use a Nuzzly Gathering, find another Emoga, use Pokemon Communication to get your Zygarde out. So yeah, this is your way to get your Pokemon out. And the rest of the trainer cards are pretty standard, I guess. You have Echo Bite, you have Crushing Hammer, because Crushing Hammer is actually still in rotation because of the Secret Rare version, if I'm not wrong. Secret Rare version comes out in post rotation format, so this crushing armor is still in rotation. Four copies of Counter Catcher, Energy Spinner to get your energy, Pokemon Communication to use with Emoga, Reset Stamp, why not? Switch because you need some flexibility to switch out your Zygarde and Zygarde GX. Martial Arts Dojo, okay, of course, another stadium that increases your power for fighting type Pokemon. And Power Plants. Okay, this is to go against those Keldeo GX and Whimsicott GX out there. And Frigion Forest help you get your energy brought great because there's no rescue stretcher. Cynthia, Hapu, Lily, your draw supporter. Character Belt. Okay, Character Belt 
it is also a new card from Unified Minds. So it's a two card. It's an yeah, it's a Pokemon tool, and you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. The attack of this Pokemon, this card is attached to, cost one fighting energy less. So it's a counter gain, but it costs one fighting energy less. So in case that you need to send out your Zyga GX immediately when you are behind price cards, you can use Character Belt and just attach one energy to start attacking. And in this case, we actually run quite a bit of fighting energy. Uh, this deck is Kiwi's deck, and he likes to run a lot of energy because he likes more consistency. So he actually runs 12 energy here. So again, this time Chibi will be playing, and I'll just be doing the commentary. So we'll see how the match goes. Let's move on to the first match. Alright, so we are on our first match. Let's see how it goes. So the opponent is playing fairy type. Hmm, not sure. Not sure what is it. Is it going to be Gardevoir and Sylveon tag team? I know the very type that people commonly use nowadays are Sylveon and Gardevoir tag team, but I'm not sure. I also haven't been seeing people playing that, so I'm not sure how the deck actually works. Oh, so our opponent actually has a lot of mulligan. Yeah, so it's a Sylveon and Gardevoir tag team. We have Pokemon communication to get another Zygarde, so that's definitely good. I think for him, I will drop the power plant also because I don't think we need it. Yeah, the opponent should be playing power plant also. And there's a big Lily. Go for Acro Bike. Oh. Two pairs. I mean, a pair of counter catcher is always good to start. Alright, so next turn at least. We didn't get energy to put on the first turn, so that's quite bad. Uh, never mind. It doesn't actually affect so much, I think. Okay, never mind the research stem change quite a bit of things. Okay. Okay, no luck and no crushing hammer. Go by, see what we get. Dojo. Hmm. Yeah, I guess if I'm here, I'll put down the dojo first. Hmm. Should I put the energy to the small zygote? Then we can. Uh, we can actually attach more energy. But I don't think we have energy in this card file anyway. So maybe. That's more or less what we can do on this turn. Okay, then why he actually chose to go for Radiant Forest? Ah, oh, okay. Did he not remember that he already attached energy? Okay, I'm not really sure, but since we don't want our Zygarde GX to be attacked, then put out a small Zygarde there. Yeah, as you see, the opponent is actually playing power plants. I think the opponent is actually quite stuck. He has no other Gardevoir and Sylveon, so it might be a good thing for us. We are not doing pretty well as well, but still okay. Bike. Oh. So we have to draw our other Zygarde GX. That is bad. Okay, at least the next turn we can actually do the big attack already.
Okay, so I guess the first match just goes like this. We have enough damage, right? 260, we need to do 200 damage. So we actually just need one more Zygarde on bench or DNC. Yeah. So either one works, then we can use our GX attack. 150 plus 60 and yeah, we will win the game. Yeah, so I guess that's it for the first match. You see the Zygarde actually hits. He's very hard and he's quite strong. He's quite slow but I think that shouldn't be much of a problem after some time. Alright, so we move on to the second match. Okay, it takes some time. Alright, let's see what we are going to go against this time. A duck! Electric? What? So what is the opponent's play? I mean, looking at the deck spot itself, I guess it should be Mewtwo and Mewtag Team GX, but... Let's see. Okay, so our starting hand, I'll say not so bad. We actually get our Zyga GX to be in front. We have two Acrobikes. Oh, a Hoopa. Is it a Dark Box? Okay, we get Hapu. We need to drop one of our fighting energy. And yeah, if you can attach next turn and... Ooh, Radiant Forest. That's good. I'm not going to put on Radiant Forest now, if I were him. And just going straight to Lily. Because we really need the Freedom Forest for the following turn. Yeah. So, yep, that's it for this turn. So, next turn we can start Nazlu Gathering, put the energy on the Zygote GX, and maybe Harpo or Cynthia to get more small Zygotes. And we might actually, we might even kill the Hoopa GX. A Hoopa GX is weak to fighting, so 190 HP. Then we only need to do 100 damage, which means 50 damage plus 3 Zygarde, or 2 Zygarde and 1, one Diancy, of course. So if we manage to get another one, we can kill the Hoopa GX. This is actually looking good for us. Yeah, if our first turn we actually manage to get the energy on the Zyga GX, then on the second turn we can start attacking already. Then you can see that this deck actually works very well, especially against, of course, against weakness. So I think I'm actually thinking of going to Hapu. I actually draw Pokemon communication using Cynthia anyway. So Demoga, as you can see here, it helps quite a bit. Acrobite, Hapu, uh, we don't really need. Yeah, we have Hapu in hand. Ooh. That's nice. So we will Pokecon for another one, and we are more or less set. Well, of course, this is not the most ideal bench that we can have. The most ideal one if we actually have a. Uh, you know. Four Zygarde and one Dancy, but the Emoga is very important to get Pokemon communication. So, not a problem. Oh, okay, never <laughs> mind. The opponent actually DC. Let's just move on to the next match. <laughs> Alright, our next match Fire, Psychic, and Dragon. Hmm. Fire Psychic. Is it a Reshizard deck? The dragon makes sense because of the Donator. But the Psychic, not sure what is a Psychic Pokemon that the opponent is going to play. Let's just see, I guess. So, starting hand, not so good. The Custom Catcher is really. We don't need it. Yeah, so I think he's dropping the Macham and Marshadow Tech team so we can get better draw on Lily. Oh, 
Wait, beast energy. Okay. We'll see. Okay, the Mulga is quite good. We can start nasty gathering if we actually have Pokemon communication. And since we start second, we can start attacking. Hmm. Not sure if it's a good idea to attack, but we cannot one hit the Reshizard definitely, so we have to start attacking. Yeah, uh, okay. Use up the custom catcher. Yeah, I didn't actually think of that. But oh, then sparse. Oh, I think this is the old variation. So when he play, when he first played this deck, he actually runs dance sparse. So the dance sparse purpose, if you know the strike and run, you search for three basic Pokemon, put into your bench. So it's to search for your Zygarde. He put down his energy already, so there's not much that he can do. It's a bit sad that yeah, we didn't actually manage to kill the Poipo immediately. The draw is just not very good just now. And we actually have no other supporter cards in hand, so Yep. The good thing is the opponent either need an energy to retreat or he has just to wait. Okay, so it's a Reshizad variation with Naganadel and Naganadel GX. Hmm, I've never really seen that deck before. But I guess I'll see it now. The giant hurt, we can actually use it to drop our fighting energy, so that's one good thing. Is he going to retreat? So he's going to retreat and double blaze. Alright. Yeah, the Moga. Okay, a Zygarde and a Zygarde GX. Our hand is actually pretty bad. We have no supporter card, so. Yeah, I think in this case I'm actually just going to let the Moga die. Oh, okay, he just attacked. Okay, so I guess now he is going to accelerate on the Macham and Mashedo because we don't really have a lot of choice here. The good thing is the amount of damage that we do actually still still force him to use the flash strike instead of the outrage. Okay. Yeah. So if the opponent still wants to attack us, he has no choice but to keep to put an energy there to use a flash strike. Of course, Emolga is out. Our uh, hand is actually pretty bad. It's just bad. 
actually I'm not sure why is he dropping the Zygarde over and over again. Well, I guess in this case we have to sacrifice one more Zygarde. Yeah. Okay, the opponent cannot flash strike this turn, but I think the outrage should already do enough damage. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm actually wondering why he never reset stamp the previous turn. Or maybe he forgot. Hmm. Actually, your opponent is thinning up very, very fast. So, yeah. Hmm. I cannot really do the damage calculation because I don't exactly know how much, how much my champ does. Yeah, and how much everything else does. Yeah, here the castle catcher will not be a very good idea unless you actually want to use it to draw. But actually, I don't know whether the system allows you to draw if you have two in your hand. Yeah, he's going to draw everything. Is he going to switch? Oh, okay, he's going to drop it. Yeah, I think he's playing his save because we don't know whether the system allows you to do that or not. But we still don't have energy, do we? I think we are just stuck. Yeah, so that's too bad. Our hand in this time is just very, very bad. And I guess from this you can see that if you uh, if you don't manage to set up your Zygarde and Zygarde GS, you're just going to lose out sooner or later. Because you cannot afford to sacrifice a lot of your Zygarde But just now you have to since you are stuck anyway Maybe if you are playing this day you might want to consider more supporter cards But we'll see I mean at, at least the opponent cannot use Okay the opponent can use flash strike but yeah, after that he just flash strike us and I think there's no way for us to come back from it. Because the Naganadal at the back is ready, so the Naganadal can target the bench. Wait, it actually use outreach. I think it's the same. Yeah, I was saying the Naganadal can just target the bench. And just going to kill the Macham tech team for their last prize cards. Yeah, I guess another thing is because from this match we didn't actually get any prize cards on the way, that's why we are stuck. I guess this deck is supposed to yeah, get some price cards along the way so you won't run out of hands and stuff. Okay, so that's all about this deck. Thank you guys for watching and yeah. You see this deck works quite well. It might not be Okay, might not be optimum against decks that is so fast like of course 
you're going against Rashiza, then you they're just going to kill off your Zygarde very very fast and you won't be able to recover very fast. But otherwise if if given the chance to set up properly, this deck is actually quite good as you can see from some of the previous match. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys again next time. Bye bye!